What's going on guys? Welcome to the Blocks Fruits video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find Mirage up Mirage Island on update 20 of Blocks Fruits. Now, I've been I've been going around on Reddit, Discord channels, YouTube just trying to find a guide for how to find this because before in the previous updates, you'd usually have to go between Castle on the Sea, Hydra Island, the Great Tree, uh Floating Turtle, all that junk to find the mirage island because everybody's trying to get v4 awakenings because they're just crazy and they don't spawn there anymore with the new update uh they spawn in the outer sea near the rocks so i'm going to be showing you exactly where to go and how to find it now before you head out you want to make sure you get a boat with a lot of health because we're going to be running into a lot of difficult enemies to fight uh it doesn't really matter which one you get i'd uh i'd I'd say get the flying boat because it's clearly the fastest one and I still think it has as much HP as the, the, this one, whatever it's called. So anyways, we're right at Hydra Island. The place we're going to go to is all the way in the back. Now going through the back zone, I call it, I call area six or the danger zone six. I call it dead zone. I don't know what the official name is. But we go from levels 1 through 6, 1 being the the least dangerous, to 6 being the most. Now, there's not really much to do in 1 through 4. There's not really anything there except a terror shark in spawn, which is a raid boss. Now, it's not really that hard to kill if you're high level. He's just really, really annoying, and you'd want to be on a, a, rocky, a rocky platform. So... You don't just drown if you have a devil fruit or if you don't have the shark race. Now, this is behind Hydra Island, and we're just going to keep going out till we start seeing rocks, and that's how you know you're getting to the danger zones. The rocks just start coming up out of the waters. Now, I don't like, I don't necessarily like these big boats because your camera can only zoom out so far, and it feels like this is in the way a lot. But just keep going all the way till you start hitting the danger zones. All right. Now we're in danger zone zero. There's no danger here. So the point we're going to want to be at is danger zone five. And that's where Mirage Island will start to spawn at. So once we're in danger zone five, I will come back with you. Well, would you look at that? We found Mirage Island. Now, that's not what I was trying to show you. This is this is just by crazy chance that we just found Mirage Island. But this is the least likely spot to try and find Mirage Island. Mirage Island usually spawns in 5. 5 is where I found it at at most. Now, now, since we found Mirage Island, we'll find this dude. He has special fruits or whatever the hell he's selling. I'm not really sure what he sells most of the time. Hey, he's got Blizzard. That's pretty nice. But anyway, now that we're at Mirage Island, what, what you want to do is you want to find the highest peak. I think it's over here somewhere. Or unless we were just on it. You go on the highest peak, and you want to make sure you have your V3 Awakening before you make it over here. Once you have your your V3 awakening, what you're gonna want to do is make sure you have the shift lock on. You'll activate your your V3 skill and just stare at the moon when it's out. Now, once you do that, a blue gear is gonna spawn on the ground. You'll pick up the blue gear, and that's how you'll have awakened. Well, not how you've awakened, but unlocked the race awakenings. Now, this isn't really what I was trying to show you. I was trying to go all the way down to. 
to Danger Zone 5 because that's where I found it multiple times. This is just a very lucky occurrence while recording this. So don't don't be scared if you're going all the way to Danger Zone 5 and this doesn't show up. What I found works best is go to Danger Zone 5 and just stay between there. Never go into Danger Zone 6 because Danger Zone 6 is just question marks and you can't see anything. See, now we're in extreme. So if you go to 6, you're not going to be able to find it. Go into 5, you're very likely to find it before between 4 and 5. I don't know how I managed to get this in 3. Apparently, it can spawn from 3 to 5 is what people have been saying. But nobody has a conclusive thought on this well anyway that's that's how you get to mirage island and you get your race awakenings if this helped if this helped you out consider subscribing and i will see you guys next time